Hey guys, Moan Pobert here and today I want to talk about perfection and here's the thing, not a lot of people talk about it and I think chasing perfection is good but what I found out is that most people chase perfection and they never take action because of that because not taking action because of perfection isn't good, right? I mean, so we, we gotta find the balance and that's what I want to talk about today and that's what I'm going to teach you in this video on what I think is kind of like the perfect balance between chasing perfection and getting the best results possible for yourself in life, in business and how to balance that with understanding that if you chase perfection, many times you won't take action. Now, there are two types of people in the world. One type of person will say, hey, chasing perfection is stupid and the other type of person will say hey uh, no choice in perfection is stupid right so so what's the balance what's the balance between taking action even if it's what we call an imperfect action which i definitely believe in i think many times for most people like for 99 percent of people in this world they rather pursue imperfect action than perfection you see what i mean because most people just don't take enough action they're just consuming too much they're not producing anything so for those type of people i'll say hey just go and take some kind of action. Even if it's imperfect, focus on imperfect action. For the other type of person, which may be like 5% of the people who watch this video, I would say chasing perfection can actually work for you because maybe you're at a point where you're just executing too much. And I know for me, it's something that I need to focus on more because for me, I just execute. For me, imperfect action is always better than no action at all. And imperfect action will always win no action. So for me, it's more about chasing perfection sometimes and becoming better at doing whatever I'm doing and making sure that I, I bring in proud behind everything that I'm doing. Um, so here's the thing, right? And if we want to focus, so if you're in this channel, this channel is all about business, right? And specifically how to buy businesses. And in the end of the day, if you want to focus, look at perfection in the space of business, you need to understand what is perfection in this space of business. And if you look at business overall, business in the end of the day is about value, right? In the end of the day, if you don't bring value to the table, you won't be successful in anything, especially not in business. And specifically in business, the more value you can add, the more the bigger problems you can solve, the more money you can make in the end of the day in business, right? So the question now is, how do you add value in business? right and how you then bring perfection into a business so obviously if you're watching this channel it's all about this channel is all about how to buy businesses instead of starting them from scratch right so obviously uh, it's the same if you want to start a business if you want to buy a business in my opinion if you want to buy a business ideally if you want to be perfect at something you want to focus on one sector to begin with if you don't know what sector to pick, here's just uh, one simple idea for you. Pick some kind of combination that combines your interest, your passion, your experience, and your contacts. Obviously, there's a lot more involved, but that's kind of like to give you an initial uh, go, go through. So you won't have any excuse to take imperfect action, right? But after you have the sector, after you took some action, for some of you guys, you already have businesses. You already tried to start a business. I mean, you need to really make a decision on what is the value that you bring to the table. So again, if you start a business from scratch, then you need to bring some kind of a value in terms of selling a service, a product, a solution. If you look to buy a business, there's also some problem that you need to solve for the seller, for the business owner that you're talking to, right? And you must really dig in and understand what are those problems that those business owners have or those customers in your business have so if you start a business from scratch or you only focus on growing organically your best way to know what value you can bring to the table is to talk to those clients is to talk to those business owners and see how you can fill that gap with your solution with your value right when you talk to business owners figure out what are their problem if they're looking to sell their business figure out why why they want to sell do they want to retire do they have some family issues or urgencies and maybe they have a different business that they gotta go and operate and that's why they want to sell this one so you got to figure out their problem and like i said if you run a business organically or you start from scratch bring them some solution in terms of service product or whatever you can provide to them to help them with their problem if you look to buy a business your value and your perspective on perfection should come from what offer you bring to the table what deal structure you bring to the table does that deal structure involve capital or perhaps not? With my clients and the deals that we're doing, there's only one type of deal structure that involved capital. The other, and that your capital, right? It's going to involve, capital will be involved many times or most times if it's a good profitable business, 
but that capital don't need to be yours. It can be the seller capital, it can be other financial partners capital, it can be banks and financial institutions. There are tons of deal structures where you can negotiate a structure where you only pay a, a certain amount after a milestone that the business achieved. So there are tons of different deal structures that you can bring to the table. There is a way to get equity in the business if you just bring some value. Let's say you have some business um, skill that you can bring to the table or results that you can bring to a business. Instead of just charging for your service, you can get equity for that. And that's a great way that I show my clients on how to do that as well. So it's all about providing solutions. And when you have a sector and you know what is your solution, then business is much more simple. And when you understand that when you have the right solution to the right problem, then you can then grow, right? And obviously the more solutions you can solve, the better value you can bring to the table, the better offers you have, you will win in the space of business. So after you have those fundamentals, now the question is how you can become even better. And that's where perfection comes into mind. And in my opinion, if you want to be perfect at something, or if you want others to look at you and say, hey, this guy is a genius, he's a master in his field, you got to focus on one thing. And in business, I mean, if you want to start a business in one sector, focus on that. If you want to buy a business, focus on one sector first and become that expert in that field. Because when you're becoming uh, obsessed about one thing, one thing, one sector, one solution, after one, two years, three years that you're actually obsessed and focused on that, that's when other people are going to look at you and say, hey, this guy's freaking brilliant, he's genius. And all you did is just stick to one thing. And that's why if you want to buy a business, I suggest to my client, focus on one sector first. Learn it, become the best at it, become obsessed about it. Learn everything you can about that sector, about the players, about the sellers, about the buyers, about the brokers, about the financial institutions. Learn everything you can. So within a few months or a few years, people will, will look at you as the authority in that space. Because if you're going to play in different fields every day, it's going to be really difficult. If you look at the biggest people in the world, the most successful people in their fields, look at LeBron James or Kobe Bryant, to become the best, they didn't go and play soccer, they didn't go and play uh, football, right? Heck, Michael Jordan tried to play basketball and he wasn't good at that. Why? Because he was obsessed. His one thing was basketball. So you got to find your one thing. What is your one sector? Is it technology, marketing, distribution, manufacturing? Find your sector and stick to it and become the best at it. And in life, if you want to become a master at anything, you're going to have ups and downs, right? And you got to be willing to accept those ups and downs. Two great books that I highly suggest you to check if you didn't yet. One of them is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. And the other one is Mastery by George Leonard. They're going to talk you through all the plateaus and deeps and understanding that progress in something is all about the slow, steady progress every day until you reach that goal. Being successful at something is not about doing nothing for 12 months and then hustling for one month to become a billionaire. No, it's about consistent daily habits that will slow you, slowly, slowly get you to that goal. Um, and in the end of the day, if you really want to become the best at something, you got to think big, right? So let's say you picked your sector, you know what's your offer, you know what you bring to the table. So if you want to buy a business in uh, the tech space, for example, you understand that sector, you understand the players, you understand what's going on. To become the best at it, you got to have a vision. You got to have a vision to look up to. Because if your vision is too small, like here's the thing, I never met anyone who achieved something that is bigger than his vision, if that makes sense. Because whatever your vision is, that's your glass ceiling. That's why when you set something, make sure it's big. Because even if you're going to fall down, there's the sentence, uh, shoot for the moon, in worst case, you're going to fall in the stars, right? Same in business. You've got to have a huge vision that will wake you up, that will keep you excited. And stick to it. Become the master of it. Become the best of it, at it. Um, and really have an ideal to become the best in the world at something. And make slow progress every day towards it. That's the only way to be successful. And the more you'll stick to that one thing, to that one sector, the more other people will look at you and look at you and think that you're a genius. And like I said, inside, you'll know that you just like thought big, you stick to it, you made things better, and that's how you became where you're at. So it brings us back to perfection, right? The topic of this video. So always ask yourself, I think it's always great to ask yourself, like what would perfection look like? 
and there's no end to it. Always think bigger, always make things better, your vision, and always aim for it. And remember, if you have 10x goals, you got to back it up with 10x actions and beliefs. Otherwise, you won't get it. You got to take the amount of action of that person that is able to live those goals. And even if you're not there yet, aim for that. Because the more you aim for something better, the more your reticular activation system is going to look for things to help you get there. Now, combine that, that perfection, that vision, with being grateful for where you're at. Because if you're not grateful for where you're at, it's going to be really difficult. First of all, you're going to be frustrated because you think that you can't allow or you're not allowing yourself to be happy until you get there. And I think you're just missing out on life. So be grateful, enjoy the journey, be okay with where you're at already, but always aim for perfection. Always aim for what else, what's next, what's the best I can be. And never compare yourself to others. I think it's good to look for competitors to see kind of like where you're at, but never compete with them. Don't try to be as good as them because then you again set yourself limits. Think, how can I be better? How can I set myself for success so I become the best at this space? Because, heck, if you do something, you might as well do it good. Because sometimes it takes just as much time, just as, as much time and effort to do something brilliant and, and excellent as it to do something average. So you might as well um, do something that is amazing. Um, yeah, no, and once you have that, that's how you can take your mission and put everything into that one path, one focus and take the next steps and focus on that, focus on giving value to others, on solving problems and continue to become better again and again and again towards that one mission, become perfect at it. And at the same time, remember that next to that vision, don't stop yourself from taking action because you think that everything needs to be perfect. There's got to be a balance. Life is about balance. It's the yin and yang. You got to find balance between taking imperfect action and always perfect whatever action you're taking, right? But I would say for 95% of you guys, focus on imperfect action. But if you're already taking action and you're still not getting the results that you want, think with yourself, how can I make my actions better? And that's where everything is going to uh, come together and bring you the results that you want. But remember guys, most of you guys need to focus on taking more action. For those who already take and produce 90% of the day versus consume, then I would say also make sure that you focus on what actions you're taking. What kind of actions? Are you focused on the big vision? Or are you just trying to compete? Are you actually trying to get the best out of you? And when you have that and you combine those, that's how you can achieve brilliant results and become a master in your field and, and the number one in your field. And that's what I hope for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it and you're new to this channel, like and subscribe and check my other videos on this channel and the links below to learn more about the space of buying existing established businesses. Uh, that's what we do. That's what we help our clients do. And I hope you got some value here and I'll see you soon.